Hello everyone, welcome you all. Today I am going to discuss about the configuration of Cucumber project. So in the stress tutorial where we have seen the introduction to Cucumber framework and the BDD and architecture of TDD versus BDD and its adv advantages. In case if you are new to this tutorial, please do watch the tutorial. So that will be very useful when we you go actually into the interview process. So for interview point of view, that will be uh, very important. And here today is a configuration and creating a project so it's not a small configuration unlike uh, the other projects that we have like a, a test ng or j unit so cucumber is a unique way of designing its project so i will show you today how can we do that and before we jump into the cucumber setup so we need to understand few terminologies that is what is a feature file and what is a step definition and what all cucumber options we have and what are prerequisites we needed so what is a feature so a feature file is an entry point to the cucumber test this file is where you will describe your test in a descriptive language like english so i told in yesterday's tutorial where uh, cucumber provides the readability of its test cases so unlike the other test cases where it actually has the code but here we have an option to read the entire test case scenarios using an our own language called english and we have a step definitions so step definitions in java it's like a java method in a class with an annotation and that annotation followed by a pattern used to link the step definition that is matching to the feature file so any feature file if you define under this that will be mapped to respect to code so that english context is mapping to the java method so by using annotations so i will show you how it works here and we need to understand the cucumber options so cucumber options season like a property or a settings so without this you cannot do anything so without this you cannot do a running a step definition or running a feature file so it, it won't possible until unless you have some command on this feature called cucumber options so it's like a property file and settings and we need a prerequisites where prerequisites like you need eclipse java maven and some plugin the plugin is not mandatory but if you have that plugin it's a well and good in case it, it's an optional kind so in case if you are new to this configuring eclipse software or intellij i will share that link in the description section but the specific is tutorial for eclipse so currently i am working on eclipse and i will show you a demo on eclipse ide so you can use another another ide as well like intellij and any other ide and you need a java to be set up in your system so to set up java so here is a, a session how you can set up a java and we have a maven too maven is required because i am designing a project in a maven configuration instead of doing a java so i will show you what are the advantages by going to maven instead of java so in case if you wanted to configure this you can do watch this tutorial i will share this link in the description section and before we go to the eclipse id i wanted to show you some uh, quick checks so if you press ctrl r and cmd and you need to open command window under command window you need to check for java version so if java version is displaying so one configuration is correctly done which is java and you need to see java compiler as well so if java compiler is working you will see this locks then it is working and up and running and you need to see maven mvn hyphen version so if you see this version then it's configured maven is successfully configured in case if you are unable to see any of this you can go and check my tutorials on this java and maven so let's jump into the eclipse ide so here so i wanted to create a maven project under my files new under app project explorer section so i will create a new go to files new and go to others and in the others type for maven and you need to select maven project and click on next so in case if you need any sample project so with a target type then you go for select this create a sample project in case if you need any 
uh, files like I mean you don't need this complete archetype then go for default workspace location and click on uncheck this create sample work sample project so for now I will select this option and here in the group and artifact directory so I will create cucumber project and I will copy the same option in the artifact ID and click on finish so once we, I click on finish so it will take a little while to create the project in the package explorer section so here we have this cucumber project created so if you expand this you will find this structure so one is source main Java where you have the development code of main and in the resources where you have the respective uh, files related to this main so we have development code and for development code any resources are needed that will be stored into source main resources and we have source test java where we write actually a test cases and all the test cases that been designed will be placed into source test java and this is source test resources so whatever resources file that needed for creating test cases that will be stored into my resources and we have system jre libraries and source folder target and pom.xml so once i open this pom.xml you will see the a normal file which is having some the values that we have provided the group id artifact id and version snapshot which is a 0.0.1 snapshot because we are not designing any project yet so for current i will be placing placing this 0.0.1 snapshot in case if you wanted to change snapshot you can do go and change the snapshot now so initial configuration so it's done so which is creating a project so as part of this prerequisites we got all the eclipse java and maven so after that we need some dependencies so dependencies like Cucumber Java, you need Cucumber JUnit, and so these are the two main actually. So you don't need much uh, other things that you needed. So for now, these two dependencies are needed. So I will show you from where you can download or where you can find the dependencies for Cucumber Java and Cucumber JUnit. So open any browser. And in the search type for MVN repository, so it's a Maven repository. So you can type for Maven repository as well. For shortcut, it's a MVN repository. So once you go here and type for Cucumber, and in that Cucumber, you will find options like io.cucumber Java. So and you have io.cucumber JUnit. So you need both. So take this Cucumber Java and copy this come back here and in the pom.xml you need a dependencies to be added dependencies under dependencies you need to paste this dependency so i will remove this url from here so i will quickly save it so once i save it you will see a maven dependencies got created here so and under that Maven dependencies, you have this all Cucumber Core and Gherkin, Java plugins, everything is there here. So if you were working with a Java application like a Java project, unless it's not a Maven, then you need to explicitly download all these jars and you need to paste it in your build path. So here Maven resolve that issue where you need to just create a dependency so all the respective jars will be added to your maven dependency so no need to have some like that dependency is missing this dependent is missing so it's easy to uh, configure all these dependencies at one place using a pom.xml now so one part is done now we'll go to my test resources so here we have source test resources right so i will right click down this resources and i will go to new and I will create a folder, a folder called features. So this is the features where I will write my all features files in this features folders, which is under source test resources. So you can paste this feature file in the project. Also, you can paste it outside it. But uh, here we have one folder, right? So for that, I am adding this folder under that. You can do 
paste anywhere under project it's not mandatory that you need to paste it here under source test resources you can do put it here in the outside also under features i will again right click and go to file this time so it's time i am not going to add anything new here just i will create a feature file i will say login demo dot feature so extension any feature file that is ends with a extension called feature so like how we will create a dot txt dot xml dot json similarly for feature file you need to give feature as an extension so once you click on finish so it will create you a structure so structure format of feature file so it will give complete structure format of feature file and that will not display unless until you add a dependency so in the previous step where we had it dependencies right so that dependency is must required to create this feature description so if i click on finish then you will see all this information here so this won't this won't come up when you are not adding these dependencies prior to this creation of feature so you need to add these dependencies prior to creating this feature then only you will see all this information in your feature file so here i will give you a small overview maybe in uh, later sessions i will give you complete overview of this feature file so here all these are comments so here you can see comments start with hash here so it's a comment so all the information that you wanted to add any description here so that you can put it under comment section and i will show you i mean in detailed information in the upcoming sessions for now i will give you only the small overview and here you have a tags here so tags are nothing but a grouping so in the test ng or jnet you have a grouping right similarly here in cucumber at the rate refers to a tagging here and you have a feature so feature start with the title of your feature so that may be anything that you are going to create any feature that you are adding a scenarios and here you have a scenario and scenario outline so scenario and scenario outline are almost similar but scenario outline where you wanted to perform multiple user set data scenario is dealing with only one user set data and where scenario outline is dealing with more than one right and given when then is a gherkin language so where given has some uh, has some condition and and has some condition when has some condition so for this also i will create one more session so here you need to understand what is given when then so it's not simply that we used given when then so that has some information so i will show that information in later sessions also so for now i will what i will do i will control all and remove everything so i will now create general purpose so i will say open an application so i will go by general things so feature is adding opening an application so i will add scenario scenario and scenario where open selenium application and under given when i launch the application you are in browser when i see the home page when i home see the home page then I will select about information and I validate something then I close the browser so this is a complete feature so let me format it so to format do right click here and you will see some options like control shift f is a shortcut for to pretty 
format so once you click on this everything will be formatted here and if you wanted to go to find any step definition you need to click on f3 and to recalculate the steps you have a step f5 so here i need to create step definition now so here i am giving a small demo where i will open an selenium application and given is a condition where precondition when i launch the application url in the browser and then after i will see home page then after i will select about information and i close and i will check it or i will verify and validate something that might be anything that that related to our test case or you have some conditions in any page so for quick reference i am giving this demo here so this is and then after you do some validation you then close the browser so quickly save it and once you right click and run as cucumber feature so once you run the feature so currently only feature file is being created right so is adjacent code is not been created so in the console you will see all the information that these methods are missing i mean these implementations are missing you need to implement those methods so if you click and scroll back so you will see scenario where open selenium application then after these all these steps that we are trying to provide and it says undefined scenario and we have cucumber and it says location and we have one scenario executed and five steps so we have four skipped and one undefined and it says you can implement missing steps with the snippets below so these are the snippets that is given by cucumber so you need to copy all this snippet from here so i will copy from here so currently we have features and we need step definitions so go back to source test java again click and right click on that and create a package package is step definitions step definitions and click on finish so now you can see there is a one package being created under source test java so it is a step definitions once you right click on here and create one class called login login or i will say launch demo app click on finish so now it's been created right so now whatever snippets that we have copied from console put it here and do a formatting shift control shift f is a formatting and you will see some are unimplemented methods like we have imports it's asking you to import all this so you need to control shift o once you click control shift o all the dependents are imported here and here i will show you so here we have given when then and and then so there is having and here right and if you see here there is no and created right so that will be automatically created as then so you go and change it to and Click control s control shift o right now i will remove all this from here i don't want this commented and it's throw some uh, java pending f section so i wanted to remove all this from here so i will just add some sysouts so and from here i will remove so here i will add one sysout so sysout saying that so i will do the same thing i will say when i launch an application url so i will say user launched application in chrome browser A chrome browser and here again one more sysout so here i will say user is redirected to home page and i will add one more sysout here and i will say user navigated to about page 
from home page and you have validate and validation right again here i will add one more sysout saying validating the title of the page and i will say at the last again one more sysout closing the application so this is what a like a demo kind so i'm not creating any application now here so for demo purpose only i am creating in next session i will create a launch a browser using a driver setup and everything so for quick reference only i am creating sysouts now so go to step definitions now we have respective step definitions implemented right go back here and right click and run as cucumber feature now you will see there is no unimplemented method right so everything is implemented and you can see scenarios open selenium and then you have a condition like user launch the application in a chrome browser so which is the first sysout that i have created then after you will see given condition so which is an actual one then user is redirected to home page so when user is in the home page so all these features are been coming right so whatever we have written here in the resorts everything is printed on the console now we have done two things here one thing is feature file one is step definition so mapping between feature and step definition is successful now now we need one more setup actually so we need a property file setup right so to create that property file setup we have one uh, method called the test runner so test runner is where you will configure all the information like or test ng xml so similar to test ng xml in test ng xml what we will design all the steps right steps at one place and what all condition grouping and what all include exclude all this information we will place it in in a, a xml file similar to here in the cucumber we will create a runner class under runner class we will configure entire information so once we launch any om.xml or we trigger it from jenkins or udeploy or cicd then our test ng will i mean our jnet runner will be triggered and based on the runner configuration all the features files will be executed and respect to step nations will be invoked so now i will go back to say source test java and again right click here and go to new under new i will create one more class so you can create a package also so uh, what i will do i'll create a runner test runner or i will say only runner and in the test method i mean class i will say test runner right so now it's created test runner here under test runner you don't need to add anything so i will show you we can have we can add some information in the under test runner but for now we will go by run with option so we have run with jnet option so i will start with using that annotations like at the rate so run run with so currently you are not seeing right we have run with options so to get this information or to see those implementations here i will go back to chrome browser again i will again type for cucumber so here we have cucumber jnet right click on this cucumber jnet and take this 1.2.6 version and capture all these dependencies from here and go back to pom.xml and here paste this pom.xml and remove this commented line so sometimes what happen right even though we have this cucumber jnet our jnet will not show some information so for for our better purpose so i will say to get rid of that kind of uh, scenarios or issues i wanted you to go with both info cubes and io.cucumber you put it both jnets over there so that you will not feel any conflict in jnet so i personally recommend i use this both options because i have faced some issues if i using the only one of this version and if i not using other version then it it is giving some errors which it says unimplemented method so 
better you take both so using both will not be any problem so you can use both now we have successfully imported all the maven dependencies related to this j units so now now i will go back to test runner class and i will start writing from here so i will say at the rate run with so you will see right run with arc dot j unit dot runner so run with and under that i will say cucumber dot class so cucumber dot class so run with cucumber dot class so whatever we have in the cucumber in initiating with the class and then we have cucumber options so cucumber options are provided because of so whatever we are going to write in step definitions and in feature files all the options are being configured in the cucumber option so here is the option cucumber options and we need to import this one as well cucumber io dot cucumber j in it right now errors are gone so under this so cucumber options so all the configurations will be done under cucumber options so in the intro right i have told cucumber options are like a property files and settings so this is the main thing that you need to be very much uh, thorough in this cucumber options because it is a one of the interview asked question as well and cucumber options and what are the importance of cucumber options i will show you now so cucumber options no now i will say features so if you type a half of the information and if you use control space which is a context assistant then you will you will see all this implementations so you need to select this features cucumber options it is in string type so now i need to use all the features file location here so i will copy this features go to features right click and go to properties and copy this location cancel this and now i will go here and paste this here so this is my feature file location so once a feature file is done i need to map my step definitions also right so step definitions are the actual code so to point the step definition we need to use glue glue equal to and you need to provide in a curly braces even though you will provide under a uh, string type also is a uh, fine but uh, you can provide as like this also because we might have more than one step definition file slide so for that purpose i'm using this array type here so step definitions so you can copy this step definitions or like a, you can directly uh, write it here step definitions so these are the minimum required so for now only the minimum required things i am showcasing so these are the minimum required things so you need features and you need glue so these are now set up here so in 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 the previous step where we have run our feature from feature file right now we will run everything from our test runner using a j unit so again now go to right click and i will do some formatting here do pretty format again and now i will right click and run as chain test and okay see now there is no errors shown so everything ran correctly perfect so no errors showcased here and you will see the green everything and go to console and in the console you have this information right user launched the application in chrome browser user is redirected to home page user is navigated to about page from the home page and validating the title of the page and closing the application now you will notice some difference right here so here you are not seeing that given when then are being printed with a, with addition to our sysouts so when you run from feature file you will see all those when you run from the j unit you will see this feature here only this information so this is the quick setup for entire project so so far we have did we have created 
project we have created feature file we have created step definitions we have created test runner and mapping those test runners using features and glue glue is pointing to the step definitions features is pointing to the feature files and one thing here you need to target to point the feature file folder not the feature file so if you point it to feature file it will execute only that feature file it will ignore all other features so better you point to the folder only so that it will execute all the feature files under that folder and we have minimum required things that is minimum setup which is a dependencies cucumber junit and cucumber java so only few things are required here in the dependencies so there is no much uh, configuration needed here so simple configurations and in next session we will discuss more options so for now i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and there is more session coming out on the cucumber so do watch and stay tuned Thank you.